There is no dispute that gender inequality exists in the global film industry. The Swedish film industry has certainly been no different. But back in 2012, with only 32% of Swedish state-funded features produced by women and women directors and screenwriters underrepresented, something needed to be done. When we talk about gender inequality, we talk about the aspect both of who gets to tell their stories, that it should be a gender equality with female voices, female perspective, female representation in front of the camera, and who gets the funding, the money side, uh, which is the producer side. Du pratar till och med sämre svenska än jag, så kallar du mig för svartskalle. Jag tror det kom fel ut, jag tror inte han menar det så. With four out of five Swedish feature films receiving funding from the Swedish Film Institute, CEO Anna Cerner understood the power that her organization had to make change. When I started off three and a half years ago, uh, we had an assignment to aim for a 40-60 average of long feature film. Uh, and um, I realized, of course, that uh, 40-60 is always women 40 and men 60, so I would say that you should always aim for 50-50 over time. So what I did was to be very clear in the goal and making an action plan for reaching the goal by the end of 2015. And it took us two and a half years to reach the goal. Women, they tell stories with a new perspective and that is what feels new, original and unique and that's why they are so important. When we find out that it was a huge problem with gender equality in film, we thought that we need to do something ourselves, but we don't produce films. We are more like just showing films. A-Rate is a campaign to raise awareness about women's representation in film using the Bechdel test criteria. The Bechdel test criteria are just three simple things. Are there two or more women in it? And do they have names? Do they talk to each other? And do they talk to each other about something other than men? It's actually some positive consumer information to spread awareness. It sounds really easy. In the, in the US, 50% of the films passes the test, and in Sweden it's not much better. In the States, Bechtel tested films that passes the test do better box, box office than films that doesn't. So it should be a money issue for the producers. We didn't plan at all that this was going to spread all over the world because it's really did. You know, the media was calling from 80 countries. I know from friends in the States that after we launched this, uh, it was easier for them to talk about gender equality in the discussions in their film festivals or in their cafe. And after we launched A-Rated, I know people has been changing their scripts. They've been changing the casting. And that's amazing. Sweden's proactive approach has not been without criticism. One very common argument is that you shouldn't do this because it limits the creativity, the freedom of speech and the quality of the artistic level of films. And I would say exactly the opposite actually, that you need gender equality and you need to get the underrepresented voices to get to tell their stories, to get quality. If Sweden can have a leading role in a story of making the film industry more equal, then I will be more than proud. There's a lot of countries that talk about things, but we are, we are the only country that actually do things. And you can criticize it and you can have an opposition, but that is a way of making a progress.